Hello, welcome to this channel, Claudemir here again, and today I'm gonna teach you how to find the IP address of security camera in the network. Let's say you lost your IP or you don't remember, so you can find different ways to do this. Here I have in the blog, Learn CCTV blog, how to find the IP in the network on different ways. I'm going to explain all of them. As you can see here, I tested every example on this article, okay? so. You can follow me here in this video. You can also visit the learncitv.com, find this article, and you have all the information you need there. You have the software you can download and everything else, okay? And don't forget to subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up, click the bell notification to receive more information about video like that. And also click here in the description to visit the blog and also get free stuff there. You can download the free guide and you can also uh, download the paid stuff if you want to, if you're a professional willing to learn more, okay? So let's get started here. And let me just show you here the five ways you can do it. I'm gonna show here on the blog because it's already uh, structured here, the information. And then I'm gonna show you here in the practice, okay? Let's start first here with the basic network and security camera concept. I'm going to explain here what I have connected on my network. So here I have my IP camera connected to my switch or my router and here my laptop. As you can see here, I have this real scenario here with the switch. It's a neg gear switch. The link is also in the description, okay? It's a PoE switch that powers the camera. So basically here I have a cable connect, connecting to my camera. It powers the camera directly. And let's say I don't know the IP of the camera that's connected here. I'm gonna find out, all right? Here I connect to my laptop or you can connect to your computer. And here I'm connecting to the router and the router is on the internet. So back here we can see that's the way I'm connected. The only difference here is that I connected to a switch and from the switch I connected to a router before going to the internet, okay? And let's start with the first way here using the manufacturer tool software. So you can find your camera on the network. If you click here, there is a list. It goes to a list of the IP camera address finder tools. You can look for your camera brand and download the software here so you can find your camera on the network. I'm gonna show you how it works. And don't worry if you don't have your camera listed here, there are different ways to do it, okay? I'm gonna show all of them. So let's start with the first one. Here I have a Hike Vision camera. So I use this Hike Vision software to find my camera. Let me just open it here. Is the SD, SEADP, okay? So I click here and loads and you see here, it finds the camera pretty fast, okay? If I refresh here, you can see it looks for the camera in the network and it finds it. The idea is that uh, the software is sending a broadcast here to this cable, to the switch and all devices connect to here the switch. It is gonna find uh, if it's a high vision device, okay? It's not gonna work if you have different cameras. Let's say I have like Samsung camera, real link camera, connected here is not gonna find because this software is supposed to find high vision device and high vision compatible device. I also have a list here on the blog with the compatible device. If you come here to the high vision OEM, so you can use the same tool to find any of these devices, okay? So pay attention here, read, read and find yours if necessary, okay? You can use this software. So that's the first way let me look for the second way here. I have all of them listed here. Second way is checking your router's IP address list. Okay, well, I'm gonna click here and you go to the section about check your modem IP address list. So basically if I have my devices connected to the router, the router can give them IP. And here I have a list with IP addresses, the MAC address and the name. So I'm gonna try and find using my router. So here, I just going to open my router interface. Let me just type my username and password. And here I can connect it to attach the devices. And it's gonna look for the devices that are connected to my router. And here we go. As you can see, there are wireless device connected here 
I don't care about them because my camera is wire connected and I have other devices here, six total. And then I need to guess which one could be my camera here. So let's take a look at the first one. That's my computer address. I know for sure because I need to know, right? What my computer address. So my computer address, it's here. And then I have a Philips Who. So that's not the one. This one could be my camera. I still don't know. This one could be my camera. I still don't know. This one is not my camera and this one is not my camera because I have the name here. I know what it is. Okay. All their devices here, desktop and a hub that I have here. So I have one of those that is my camera. Probably this one because I have the IP here. So I would just try to make sure I'm going to copy the Mac address here. And I will come here on Google and type Mac address lookup. Okay. There are different pages that you can use. Let me try this first one. And here I'm going to paste this information and click lookup Mac address. And here I have information about Hike Vision device, right? This is manufactured by Hike Vision. So I have a Hike Vision camera. So I know for sure that's the device I'm looking for. So I come back here and I have my camera's IP. That's the one, okay? I went here to a process of elimination because it didn't give my na the name here, but I could find by using the MAC address, all right? So all this information is here. If you look uh, at the article, I have this information here, how you can look for the MAC address and all this stuff, okay? And also here, the link that you can find this tool online. Pretty easy. So let's move on to the next way you can do it. Scanning the network for connected devices. So here we have a network scanner. So I can use Angry IP scanner or Advanced IP scanner. You can come here, click to download yours. There are free versions. I'm just bring here the Advanced IP scanner. And the idea is that I insert here the uh, range, the IP address range of my network. So in my case, 192.168.0.1 to 26254. Okay, that's the range. I just click here in scan. And then I just wait for the software to broadcast the information on my switch and trying to find every single device on the network. Okay, what I can do here is disconnect the cable. If I want to, if I prefer to do that, I can disconnect the cable from the router so I can have only the camera connected here. Okay, it's easier. So there's no other device that the software needs to look for. Okay, so it's scanning here and we can see there's a lot of different device. Sometimes it shows the name. So show here the IP, the manufacturer. So if I have Samsung, I don't know that's not my camera because my camera is high vision. I have Dell, I have Blackmagic and Design, Google, other devices here on my network. So I just need to look for the device that looks like my camera. I can use the same process with the Mac address if I want to. I can copy the Mac address and check there online. And here, for example, back here, that's the Mac address that I was looking for, right? You can also check in your device if there is a label with the Mac address or something. And then you can come here, copy and go there to the site, paste there and find if it's your camera. That's one way to do it. Again, it's easier if it's connect the other cables here. So you see only your camera and it's easier that way. Okay, let me just move on to the next one. You see all the information here in the blog. And the next way I'm check here is running a network packed sniffer. So basically I can use Wireshark. It's a free packet sniffer and I can check the packets on my network. Basically it works like that. Here I have the diagram with IP camera, router or, and, or switch or laptop. It would be better if you use a switch instead of a router, okay? Or you disconnect other devices here from your switch and leave only your camera. The idea is that they can, the camera when it boots up is going to send information here on the network and your laptop can find it, can see this information using this sniffer, packed sniffer or packed analyzer, Wireshark, 
right? So let me do that. Let me just come here to my switch. I'm going to disconnect from the internet. So I will have only my camera connected here. And then I'm going to start this uh, inter uh, network analyzer, okay, Wireshark. And now just check the interface here. I'm using the Ethernet interface, okay? So what means is this interface with the cable that's connected here. I'm not using Wi-Fi here. And I'm going to start the, the scan here. So I select this interface. I double click or I click here and here, okay? Start capturing packets. And then I can look at the information here. Uh, it's not that complicated here. There's a lot of technical stuff behind it, but basically you want to see that there are some communication going on on my network, okay? So here, let me just uh, stop the packets here so you can see a little bit. So basically here, as you can see, there, there are communication between devices and my computer. I know because I have here my computer, here is the IP address, 192.168.0.160. Again, you need to know your computer's address. And then if I see some other addresses here, I can take a look to figure out if it's my camera. Let's say, for example, look here, 103, okay. And I have other addresses here. Let me see. Let me do something here that's much more efficient, right, to find it. I'm going to leave the packet sniffer uh, running. And then I'm going to disconnect my camera here and connect it again. Basically, I'm rebooting my camera. You can do this by disconnecting uh, the power supply if you want to. But in this case, I'm just sending PoE, power over Ethernet, through this cable. So I'm just connecting the cable and connecting again. The camera is going to boot up in a while. And I keep looking here at the screen and I see the information. When the camera comes online, it's going to uh, announce itself in the network. So I can see it here. Let me see. I'm just looking for other information. Wait for a while. The camera takes like 30 to 40 seconds to boot up. I still see the same source here. Look, Quanta. CO something is the name of my interface here for my uh, laptop. Okay, if I see something different here, look, I have something different here now. Let me just pause for a while. Hanzu something. Okay, it's announcing itself in the network like 192.168.0.103. So basically the camera is saying, hey, I'm here on the network and that's my IP. Okay. And I can hear right now the camera uh, uh, moving the motor here because a PTZ camera, it's moving the motor to test uh, the initialization, the initialization. <laughs> so the camera is on and it's announcing itself here in the network. Let me just see something else here. Okay, if you leave this running, you can see again, more information about a camera here again, it's announcing itself. And the camera sometimes also asks in the network. Let me just pause again. And here we go. So this device, that's the camera, is asking here. Who has 192.168.01? That's the router IP address. Tell 192.168.0.103. That's the camera. So the camera say, hey, tell me. Here's my IP address so you can tell me. Who is the gateway of the network? She's looking, uh, it's looking, I'm calling the camera she, right? But uh, it's a nice way to call it. But the camera, it's asking for the router and it's giving its IP address here, right? So now I know what my camera IP address is by using this software. So guys, this is a solution that works for every single camera, okay? If you don't know, the camera's brand is like a cheap Chinese camera or something. You can use the software to find the camera on the network, okay? And start giving all the information you need here and you can find the IP address, all right? And let's go to the last method here that will be using your, uh, the UPnP features of the camera if the camera has it. So here I need my cell phone. And I just need to use the UPnP protocol. It's a universal protocol. I can use 
a computer with a software, okay, to find the camera on the network, or I can use my cell phone. In this case, I'm using a uh, cell phone with the UPnP browser, okay, or the Bonjour browser that can find the camera on the network. As you can see here, I just installed this on my uh, uh, cell phone and my cell phone connected to my router and then I can find the camera. So let me just connect the cable back here so you can see how it works. Now I need this connected to my router because my cell phone is also connected to my router. The idea that my cell phone connected to the router and it can communicate here with the switch. Everybody's in the same network, right? So let, let me just grab my cell phone Okay, so here I have my cell phone connected to my Wi-Fi. You just need to make sure that you have the correct Wi-Fi. And here I can use any of the software. Let me use this one. And then it start like browsing the network. You see, it finds UPnP devices. It found here my printer and the high vision camera. Okay, so if you know your device's name, you can find it here. In this case, it's high vision. So pretty good, it's working, right? So let me just come here now. Uh, as you can see, we saw all of the options here. You can come here to this article and find your software and find the software for scan, scan, Wireshark, everything you need. And just to finish this video, let me just now log into my camera. Now I have the IP, I input it here. I enter the username and password. And here we go, wait for a while. And here we go, my camera working. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you liked this video. And so leave your comments here. Also your thumbs up, click the bell notification to receive more information about videos like that. Well, thank you very much. And I see you in the next video.